Makena, ni kuuliza utaki tuambie mambo ya boyfriend ama ukiwaambia. Anachukuliwa through osmosis. Fei. Sio mambo tutu walizia. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Unaona tuko wapi leo? Leo tunafanyia hii interview tao. So guys, and due to public demand, tunaleta Makena back in the house and atakuja kuongelelea how to start uh, your business from scratch. So Makena, karibu karibu. Asante. And welcome back. Eh, unatu 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 nini? Sasa <laughs> Sasa Unaendeleaje? Niko poa. Niko fit? Niko poa kabisa na nyinyi mko aje. Si tuko poa. Nice. Aki tumeku miss. Tumeni miss sana. <laughs> so makena, mm -hmm. due to public demand, kuna watu wanauliza juu ulisema by the way uko na biashara. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wanauliza ulianzaje hiyo biashara na mtu anaanzaje biashara from scratch? Ha. Kwanza biashara from scratch. Yeah. I think hiyo kwanza ina depend on what you want. I think you na depend on what you want. Unataka kwanza ku invest in biashara gani? Yeah. Unajua kuna industries tofauti, si ndio? Kama nilienda kwa hotel industry, si ndio? Mm -hmm. And unaangalia hiyo hiyo biashara yako ama hiyo idea yako, what kind of investment does it need? Na that is kulingana na the resources that you want to use. Kama ni mimi nilienda nikarunua masufuria, nimeangalia kama nahitaji vikombe na stock yangu yenye nafaa kuanza nayo, ku structure hotel kitu kama hiyo. Alafu unaangalia hizi vitu zote zitakukost how much. Unaona? Cuz lazima upige hesabu yako vizuri. Yeah. So hapo ndo unajua capital yako, yeah. how much you need to start your business. Yeah. And yeah, from there sasa unaanza kuangalia the resources pia. Eh, utaziget wapi yeah. unaona mm -hmm. na unataka kuiset wapi what's the strategic place to, for you to set that business mali utapata flow ya customers nini na nini kitu kama hiyo si ndio uh, so makena yes. ni vitu gani mtu anafaa ku consider senye anaanza biashara i think pia wakati unaanza hiyo biashara yako mm. Eh, unafaa ku consider hiyo mm. product yako is it viable for the market yeah. unaona mm -hmm. and who are your clients unaenda kuuzia kina nani ama kama hata ni service unaenda ku provide kina nani unaona mm -hmm. and also who are your competitors unaona yeah. unaangalia eh wak, mali unaenda ku kuna watu wengine bado wanaifanya yeah. na kama bado kuna watu wanaifanya si kumaanisha tu uweze set the same business also how how different are you doing your things yeah. mtu anaweza kuwa na pick up hapa mm. ana pick food the same na yeye una pick up next lakini quality ya food yako na yake ni tofauti unaona yeah, so unafaa kuangalia ni nini ya ni nini tofauti kwa hiyo idea yako yeah. enyewe inaweza kuwa as in it's mali unashindia competitors wako because that, that's how you make money also lazima uko unapenda hiyo idea yako lazima uko na passion for that business that you are investing in yeah. usiende tu kuweka do yako kwa kitu haupendi na kitu hautashughulikia something you won't even spend your time on yeah. and alafu u lose bure so the the reason why lazima uko unapenda hiyo kitu na juta spend your time yeah. na na bado you'll be able you'll be earning from what you love yeah, it's i think true. na pia customer relations uh -huh. lazima kuna treat customers wako vizuri in whichever business yenye uko customers wako ndio wana mata most yeah. so so eh, kama customer wako awako satisfied hiyo business yako itakuwa ngumu kuendelea lakini once you make sure that your customers are satisfied i think your business will be okay yeah no no you, you have to be unique as in, in each and everything that you're doing ni lazima ukuwe unique ni, ni nini itatuma huyo customer akose kwenda kwa neighbor kuje kwako that's very true what are you providing yenye ni so different from the from your competitor yeah. unaona mm -hmm. siezi kwa no, siezi fungua biashara katika ya kila mtu tuko tuna, tuna offer the same thing yeah. unaona eh. lazima ni kwenda offer kitu at least different yenye itafanya customers wa kuje kwangu yeah. also mm -hmm. eh biashara imenifunza yeah. wakati una budget na wakati una tafuta resources and the yeah the, the things that you need in your business yeah. unafaa pia ku consider bay yeah. eh, kama leti nenda kununua some resources za ku vitu za hoteli kwa eh, leti nenda kununua vitu za hoteli nafanya angalie kama kuna kamukunji au wanaweza kuwa ni wachipa yeah. kuna wengine wanaweza kuwa mudhuru maybe ni wachipa kuna mwingine anaweza kuwa gikomba maybe ni mchipa yeah. na kama, yeah 
So, thinking you have to consider the amount of money that you're putting in your business uh, because what matters is the profit. Yeah. Yeah, the bigger Alafu, the profit. I think kitu ngine makenaps pia. Mm -hmm. uh, unafaa kuangalia una penye unaanza biashara yako, unafaa kuangalia ni nini yao wase wanauza. So ndio kama uuze kitu different na wenye wanauza. Alafu kianza busy yako, si lazima uanze na ile bei ya kila mtu mwenye anauza hapo kwa as in kama yeah. umeanza ka biashara pale kuna watu wengi, unaangalia ile bei yao. Yeah. And then wewe unakuja na bei kidogo, chini kidogo. So ndio customer akikuja anaona eh hey, reason ya kukubaia pia ni wewe ni mpya kujui ana, anaangalia hiyo bei yako pia naweza ona ni bei poa exactly. na kama ana buy anaona wewe ni mchipa and yeah. that's the reason why yeah. and that's the reason why ni poa kwenda kutafuta resources zenye ni chipa sababu you can provide your products at a cheaper price or your services at a cheaper price yeah it's true yeah. Na pia ni vizuri yeah. mtu akianza biashara anaipatia some time yeah. like some time to grow. Usi expect that since umeanza business at occasion unataka ujilipie rent kutoka hapo you want to buy to buy your car from that business. So yeah. just give it some time to grow. You can also invest back to the into the business and make sure it uh, inajilisha yenyewe. Yeah. Alafu after that maybe it appears as kufanya vitu zingine. Yeah. Lakini patience patience pia ni muhimu sana. Yeah so hiyo ni point nyingine by the way kwa biashara patience. Okay, yeah. ukianza ukianza biashara yako unaona hiyo pesa ndio unataka ubai sijui magari watanitambua hii mwezi. <laughs> eh, hey, alafu kitu kingine fee ni mefind out mm. na unanga sengine tunataka nga kufungua biashara, yeah. alafu all of a sudden nataka kufanya vitu zingine. Yeah. Nataka at I just at a set up a business niache kiran, at you know, bado natoka sijui nataka kwenda kufanya kazi zingine. Ah uh ah, -uh. biashara by the way ni kama mtu hii. Yeah. Biashara you need at attention yako. Uh -huh. You need involve involvement yako. So uju kiachia na biashara pia itarani wa vile uliku unataka kuirani kabisa. Yeah. So for you for that business to be successful make sure apart from your money you also give it your time. Yeah it's true. Yeah. So Makena nasikia nga by the way mtu anaanza nga biashara atijua ameanza biashara ile kazi alikuwa anafanya anaenda na tukana boss na anatoka anafikiria ti biashara ukiamka asubuhi takulisha. <laughs> we hapana. You say by the way kama umeanza biashara na ulikuwa na job yeah. keep that job. Yeah. If you're lucky to have a business at the same time you're employed yeah. it's good to to stick with your job sababu mm -hmm utapatia biashara yako time ya kugrow yeah. na utakuwa unaipelekea expenses za bills zako yeah. but the moment umefungua biashara alafu at you quit your job and then you want to take your bills kwa hiyo biashara utaikule iishe sababu utakuwa unatoa rent yako hapo yeah. unatoa all your expenses there mm -hmm. at the same time that business needs to grow na ina need to invest your back yeah. it will utakuwa umeikula yote haraka sana so hata unaweza kuwa kwa hiyo job nyingine yenye unafanya mm -hmm. by the way hiyo job nyingine unafanya ina, ina boost biashara yako yenyewe yeah. unataka umejua yeah ni kama long term investment. So hiyo biashara yenyewe unafanya yenyewe haupendi endelea kuifanya. And then you boost nayo hiyo job unapata hiyo do unapata boost nayo hiyo job yako yenyewe una nini? Yeah, alafu fine unaanga pia sengine watu wanaanga ni ukweli self employment pia ni mzuri. Yeah. Lakini to be honest hata ukikutia ya ofisi utakuja hapo ufanye kazi double you will do double, it double. Sasa, ni yako sasa ni yako yeah. so at the same time sasa uta, sasa utakuit biashara utakuit kazi mm -hmm. ati uende uka lazy because yeah. you have your business no you need to be working twice yeah. 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 you need to be hard working in short yeah that's kwambia kuna watu wanafanya biashara for a very long time like umekukifanya biashara for four years alafu hii biashara ileti faida haileti nini unaezaje ambia mtu mwenye anafanya biashara na anaogopa kuacha hii biashara so pia niliona kuna mtu aliniambia kitu yeah. that don't get too attached to a business idea yeah especially if you put in your resources again and again yeah. na ukona high work mhm mm si vibaya ku let go yeah. you can invest in something else ku let go of that of a business idea aimanishi at you are a failure no business is a risk you put in money ikienda poa ni sawa ikienda mbaya ni sawa unaenda tu kwa ingine so hakuna sengine get so attached to, to an idea or mm. to a business you keep in putting money ukigoja ukidhani taamka and what if it's not working sengine unaweza chana tu nayo yeah. unaangalia what's working and uh, what else can you do because there's only there's always something else that's working yeah, yeah. And then something else that you you supposed to know is that hata ukifunga hiyo biashara utatoka hapo ukiwa na experience. Yep. Hata ukienda kufungua ingine maybe umeona hiyo ai wako umeona sasa hata acha ni use pampa zama nini utakuwa na experience sasa utakuwa unajua ile kitu unaenda kufanya. That's true. There's one more thing pain ili learn. Mhm. Mm 
aki unaweza fanya kazi yako na biashara yako iko mzuri lakini kama una discipline na hiyo pesa by the way yeah, pia uta why grow it's true so lazima pia mtu akuwe na discipline na hiyo do it's, okay it's not that i'm so disciplined pia mimi na learn <laughs> lakini pia vile mtu lazima tumie pesa yake vizuri yeah hey. it's true isikuwa tu na work hard bure and then you go spend all your money I, and i think oh. makena uh-huh. unaweza kuwa na bank accounts mbili bank account yako personal yep. na ya job mm. so ukiwa kama kuna bank account ya job una join do ya job na utaguza yeah actually it's always wise it's wise to separate your expenses na za biashara eh. wacha pesa ya biashara iko ya biashara na yako iko ni yako eh. sababu at the same time hata kama wewe mwenyewe ndo mwenye biashara hiyo mm. biashara unafaa ujieke under under a salary yeah. ehe makena kuna venye watu wanaambia ukiuliza mtu ati ati hiyo biashara naifanyaje kila mtu anachinda kukuambia ati work smart work smart how can i work smart ways mm-hmm. then you need to operate business yako mm-hmm. inakuwa you, you are working smart yeah. let's say uko na product na tuko na watu hapa we have social media accounts yeah, unaona exactly. so badala ya kuuza tu product yangu pale nimetandika pale kwa barabara bas peke yake si nieke wacha nieke kwa mtandao watu wenye sisi ni marafiki facebook wapi wapi uko wote wataona Mm, kazi yeah. yako wewe ni kuja kusimama hapo unaonesha mahips juu ni wewe weka biashara zako kwa mtandao <laughs> ni vizuri usiweke kwa mtandao ati kazi ni kusimamisha hapa mahips exactly. manini unaonesha na unajua hatuwezi pia kuwa tunataka kushine hapa kwa mtandao lakini mtaani tuna struggle yeah, mbona ni chomo tu najua hapa hivi si nionesha au mafanzo wangu bado ni nini nauza yeah. na wao ndo watani promote unaona yeah. so That's I think that's where working smart comes in. Kama si struggle peke yako. Yeah, kama uko na social media yoyote, tafadhali kama unauza socks, unauza gumboots, yes. unauza makaa, tafadhali enda uuzie hapo. Kwanza, They will buy. Exactly. Mimi kwanza nimekuwa nikiuza charcoal briquettes na zinaenda zaidi kwa mtandao zaidi ya zenye nimeweza zenye nimeweka mtaani. Eh zaidi utaandika kwa barabara. Exactly. Hakuna <laughs> kuja kutandika kwa barabara peke. Uh, so makena, mm-hmm. eh, angusha mahandle sasa. By the way nilifungua YouTube channel yeah. na nika post clips yeah. naenda pale YouTube ni search Kendi Kinywa uh-huh. Kendi ya K E N D I yeah. Kinywa uh-huh. na Instagram Instagram ni Tokora uh-huh. underscore Sivora uh-huh. Fine tell explain meaning hiyo uh-huh. jina <laughs> explain last time he'll explain yeah. oh. So uh-huh. uh, Tokora ni T U K W R uh-huh. A underscore Sivora yeah. Ah. So na Facebook na Facebook ni Kendi Kinywa mm. na pia Twitter ni Kendi Kinywa. So farm my family. Nataka muende pale kwa Insta kwa YouTube ya Makena by the Makena anaangusha pale ma comedy my friends. <laughs> anaangusha comedy enda pale subscribe enda um support. Yaani comment na umwambie Faith amekutuma. Asanteni sana by the way kwa kuniulizia tena mm-hmm. and thanks for the first video guys. Yeah, I love wow. all your comments. Aki nimewa hata sana hata mimi nyenyewe nilikuwa nimewa hata that's when nimerudi kutafuta Faith. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate that love is so much so much so yeah. much na nawapenda that much as well. So asante sana makena amesema asante kwa mafans wake wale wote wana msupportingi. So keep on supporting her. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Until next video guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. I forgot to tell you to like this video and subscribe if you like it. Please like the video it will help my channel to grow. Until next video loves. I love you. Bye.